Hello, I'm Darren Crapo, and this is the UFO Planet News Report. We have six UFO stories for you today, and they are Glowing lights capture the attention of friends traveling in McHenry, Illinois. An acrobatic light recorded dancing in the sky over Lake Charles, Louisiana. An observer shocked by sight of UFO during a thunderstorm in Fredonia, New York. A diamond-shaped UFO seen flying over the mountains in the Arizona sky. A fish-looking UFO seen flying over Yellowstone National Park. And an observer has flashbacks of Phoenix lights, except this time in Scottsdale. The UFO Planet News Report starts right now. traveling in a vehicle in McHenry, Illinois, when a glowing light captured their attention. According to the observer, they were at the intersection of McCollum Lake Road and Richmond Road in McHenry when they saw the object above McCollum Lake moving at a speed that a low-flying plane would probably move at. A little frozen peach bits in it, it's good. Mm-hmm. Where'd you get it from? The ice cream store. That is a weird looking light on a plane. Is that a UFO? What the world is that? It's like, hold on, I'm gonna capture this. The UFO consisted of a single fiery orange glow, mainly round in shape, but the bright area within the round shape was not consistent in its position or intensity. It flickered like a fireplace or lantern would. It was almost as if the plane had a very large lantern light on it, or maybe inside it. But it looked nothing like the typical light that you would see on an airplane. There were no other lights around it anywhere. The observer says he has seen meteorites before, and it didn't look anything like a meteorite. The light continued in a southeast direction for about 30 to 45 more seconds before it became more distant and disappeared. Then the sky was completely dark in the place that it once was. The observer in this story was outside talking on the phone when they noticed a light approaching from the north. He says he watched the light do some pretty incredible acrobatics before remembering his cell phone had a camera and began shooting the footage that we are looking at. The observer reports that the UFO seemed to be at about 3,000 feet altitude when first noticed. It was descending rapidly directly towards his position. It appeared to descend just into the cloud deck, bob in and out, eventually coming to hover near the bottom of the clouds. The light would dim periodically and simultaneously appear to descend when it did so, usually after a sharp curving maneuver. The color was variable from a deep, barely visible red to a brilliant white, trending towards yellowish most of the time. Most of the more startling color changes are not noticeable on the video. There was no noise and it seemed to move effortlessly in any direction. The speed seemed excessive for a drone at the altitude that it appeared to be at. This is not the first time the observer has seen this phenomenon in the area, but it is the first time that he captured it on video. A storm brewing in Fredonia, New York was the focus of the observer in this story. He was outside filming the storm when he unintentionally captured footage of an unidentified flying object. At first, the observer was convinced it was a bird until he realized how fast it was moving and that it appears to have a trail behind it. He also thinks the object seems large for the perceived distance. He was facing the northeast at the time he shot the video and was level with the horizon. Clearly, the observer doesn't think this is an insect. He's already ruled out a bird. So, what does that leave us? You have found a planet. (laughs) 
An ordinary road trip turned into an extraordinary road trip when an observer in Arizona snapped a series of photos of a diamond-shaped object traveling across the tops of the mountains. The observer says he was traveling west on Pecos Road in Ahwatukee, Arizona when he saw the strange object. He describes the UFO as diamond-shaped, darkish-looking. This is not a situation of someone snapping photos and noticing the object later, but rather the object was noticed and the observer stopped on the side of the road specifically to capture the photographs. The observer was able to shoot half a dozen snaps before the object disappeared over the backside of South Mountain. He has absolutely no clue what he was looking at and has gone to the professionals to help him figure it out. You have five minutes. There is something fishy going on in Yellowstone National Park, at least there appears to be, once you examine this photo taken by an observer passing through the park on a July vacation. This is another case of shoot now, notice the UFO later. A couple were on vacation in Yellowstone National Park, passing through the Grand Teton Mountains, enjoying the scenery when the passenger snapped a few photos of the gorgeous splendor. Later, when showing friends their vacation photos, one of the friends noticed an object that didn't belong. Neither person traveling in the vehicle that day noticed the object, but admit they were looking at the beautiful scenery, not paying attention to the sky. The object, frozen in time in this photo, looks like a flying fish. Flying fish in Wyoming are highly unlikely, so that leaves us wondering, what on earth is this? For just a minute, the observer in this story thought maybe he was reliving the Phoenix Lights, except this time in Scottsdale, Arizona. The observer says he was looking out the living room sliding glass window from his family's house when he noticed three pulsating lights in an equilateral triangle formation hovering over one of his neighbor's homes. One of the lights began to move towards the west at a fast rate of speed, while the other two remained stationary for an additional one to two minutes. Then, the second light began to move towards the east at a slower rate of speed compared to the first object that moved. The central light remained stationary for about 15 minutes and then faded out of view. He says he didn't have any feelings or emotions when he saw the lights, either during or after the sighting. I don't know, I think a lot of people would have a lot of emotion, or at least have a lot of shock, if, maybe if they were to witness the same lights. What do you think? You have that's it for another episode of the UFO Planet News Report. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. I sincerely appreciate your support and especially the support of those who have been with me since the very beginning 10 years ago. And I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers on YouTube and Facebook. My name is Darren Crapo and I'll be back here again on Wednesday for another episode of the UFO Planet News Report.